viewers welcome back guys and girls it has been what a week or two since the last time i uploaded we're definitely not going to keep track of that and i definitely did say i was going to post something friday and i apologize i just don't keep good track of what i want to do i did get my midterms done and if you're in school if you're in college i hope your midterms went well if you're in high school or any other grade that you're in then i hope tests have been going well for you as well i want to thank you guys for sticking around i know it's been a while since i posted my last video i'm basically the core kenshin of reaction channels so i'll try not to get used to it but for now get used to it just because i'm very busy when it comes to a lot of stuff and i have projects that i've been working on that i think you guys will enjoy whenever that time comes upon release today we're going to be reacting to port antonio by j cole now this was a random song out of the blue it dropped four days ago uh on a random thursday or wednesday night so i'm pretty excited for this and uh from what i hear one of my friends told me it's something about basically the response of him not doing any type of diss tracks so i can't wait to listen to it and i hope you guys stick around to basically get more insight with me as well and see what i think about it i think it's gonna be great actually i love j cole no diddy if you so happen to like this video if you can go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe guys we are almost at a thousand to say i've been out for a month and you guys have been continually watching my videos i've been watching i've been seeing the views and i've been seeing people subscribing and i cannot thank you enough it's really good to know that i have an active community of people who's still able to watch my videos although i'm not i haven't been posting so i really do appreciate that we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video from what i see here being four days ago it has 4.5 about to be 4.6 million views so that's really good must mean the song is really good very chill beat And it's five minutes. That's crazy. Samples crazy uh, so far. Young Jermaine walked the straight and narrow. Minimum wage jobs for the narrow. But still my mind was on the zeros. I fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds. So we were skipping church, but my eyes was on the sparrows. Mm. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on a payroll. Shit, I want to shine too. I want dimes too. Jealous niggas want to know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Now Damn. Basically just talking about people who spend clothes, uh, spend thousands on clothes and whatnot. And then they get jealous about how his bars are able to catch more attention than theirs. And basically he's better than them. Way better. He's saying two times, but I say a lot more than that, especially because his flow or what he's talking about is so different. And I, I, I can't preach this enough when it comes to the music I listen to. If it's just currently also constantly talking about money, uh, sex, drugs, killing guns it's eventually going to get boring. That's why I don't listen to young boy. I listened to him for a little bit when he first came out, but when you start to notice that songs and I, I don't want to just point out young boy, I'm just saying that for an example, but it's like a lot of music just, does, it just sounds same similar. So when you, have, when you have refreshing stuff like this, I get it. It's bars that you just used to hearing, but when it's something new and different, something to talk about, then it just makes you, it keeps you intrigued. Uzi had an out crew the fountain blue, but never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The door right. at the top, the veil where all my skeletons locked. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. I mm. seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell him to stop. You better beat it for you see the heavy metal get popped. He was Damn. a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. He wanna ball till he fall into the federal. I like the the double entendre from what I'm hearing too. I think if I can't, if, if I'm thinking right, I might have to replay it. But how he talked about his humble mindset, he remember where he was, you know, where he started all this, the plot of his story. And if he was given the opportunity to re go back and do things different, he wouldn't swap it. But he was talking about, you know, friends who um i'm gonna have to go back and listen. But it's either him, it's him talking about shot as in basketball, sports, and whatnot sitting on the bench. Um, sitting on the bleachers and whatnot, and I think talking about shooting as well when it comes to violence. I think. Swing with a hell of a shot, but if no team draft king, he gonna bet on the block. He want a ball to. Yeah, if no team draft queen draft king, then he bets on the block. So the streets. He fall into the federal's knock and sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. Right. You can't relate unless your father was not around and your mother went out and found someone else and they brought around and they salaries didn't combine when they married and brought you out of that poverty then you moved to a soft little part oh of town so that when you back in the hood you feel awkward about it now. Mm. Then your confidence start to drown, but right. the gave you some positive thoughts, so you jot them down. You jot them down. Such a simple hook, by the way. Ride to it. Ride 
Not even really a hook. It's more like just a break. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time to find deliveries good as mine. You gotta search primes. Mm. I'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch, trying to be something, hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind. One thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme. I learned long ago you can't please them all, and it hurts trying. Right. In this game where all you've got is your name, like dirt. I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirch mine. Absurd times Damn. with a fake get told it is wise. I can see hate in both of your eyes, but the third's blind. So you search line. That was a fire bar, but the th you search with both of your eyes, but your third is blind. I fuck with that. It get told it is wise. I can see hate in both of your eyes, but the third's blind. So you search lines, but you struggle, which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces the word finds. Mm. I hate when raps become, but like, do not disturb signs. Can I get it if I see it's about the dough? They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But singing stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I put right. the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. Facts. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the batter dog. I would have lost the bro. I would That's crazy. And I, I from an unbiased standpoint, I think personally he would have won against Drake. I don't think he could have done a lot with uh, Kendrick. And that's coming from a personal, a unbiased, I'm about to say personal standpoint, an unbiased standpoint. I feel like Kendrick just can release so much like he did with Drake. This dude released a whole trilogy, more than a trilogy. He released a whole fucking album worth of diss tracks for Drake specifically. Now imagine if him and J. Cole kept going, how much more probably Kendrick would have released. And it is not to say, you know, you can go bar for bar and whatnot, but I just feel like Jake, uh, J. Cole probably has less ammunition compared to Kendrick because Kendrick somehow knows everything or can gather information anywhere just for the just for him dialing up on his phone to ask you know what this man is but yeah that's another reason well I'm not even going to say that's another reason why I didn't react to any of the disses how he's mentioning how you know they want to see blood and whatnot spill just for clicks to get pockets and tickets for us to get paid I think he's referencing the reaction channels now me personally I was just lazy I could have easily reacted to all of them but I just chose not to um which is bad move on my end I could have got more clout for it but hey I do this because I like it not because I want to well, I do it because I like to do it and not because I need to. I just do what I feel is right. I like to listen to music. I, I, I definitely agree with J. Cole's point here. I read my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the bro. Facts. I would have gained the phone and all for what? Just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for. Since right. Since the age of 14, Jermaine is no king. If that means I got to dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social right. media. Competing for your favorable memes to be considered best of living. Y'all not listening. Y'all not listening. Even if y'all are, listen again. Damn it. It's just to sway the whole thing on social media Competing for your favorable memes To be considered best to live and rest The way to both things I understand the thirst of being first That made them both swing Protecting right. legacies So lines got crossed perhaps regrettably My friends went to war I walked away with all they blood on me Now some mm. niggas credit me Try wipe away my pedigree But please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly uh. That's crazy Exactly Exactly You can't Man Hold on now Fuck bro Perhaps regrettably, my friends went to war. I walked away with all they blood on me. Now some will discredit me, try wipe away my pedigree. Right. Please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly. Uh, my dog texted me. I share the words he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Uh, Facts. I guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. I text her back like, guess a gun ain't what I'm trying to be, my nigga. They stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. Right. They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, hey, Drake, you'll always be my nigga. I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my nigga. Right. Look, man, I'm not even going, I don't even know what happened behind closed curtains. They all know they all friends, but when he's saying that Drake did a lot for him, speaking off of a fan standpoint, someone who listens to the music, he, you know, he helped promo him when it came to first person shooter. You know, he worked with him before. Uh, he helped him with evil ways. You know how they both just kind of went back and forth in there. Although J. Cole is such a has such a high status, Drake, I feel, still introduced him to more people and gave more people reason to listen to J. Cole on a respect basis. And I can say the same thing for J. Cole fans who listen to Drake for the first time just to listen to those songs. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot comes from that you know they both gave each other but 
I feel like Drake probably gave J. Cole more out of that. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks why we do it. It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves, reaching the charts, reaching your minds, right. your hearts, creeping up fine, the emotions to touch, something inside to open you up, help you cope with the rough times and shit. I'm sending love cause we ain't prime and shit. Facts. I like the positivity. I think that's it. Yeah. I like the positivity. I love the positivity that's ensued into this song. And that five minutes went by quick, by the way. I know a lot of it was, well, about 45 seconds, a minute looking at the, yeah, niggas ain't stopping me. That's probably like a minute and a half, but it's just constant bars but it's just him speaking to us him speaking to us giving us a reason as to why he didn't continue along the beef my hair i got my god is annoying it is what it is though that's not the point of the video today the point of the video is reacting to this beautiful art piece of the song i love this i love everything i love the story i love the meaning behind as to why he just put it out there was no promo needed we as fans promoting it itself no this song was great um, there's a lot of great value out of it. Now, would it go on a playlist? Probably not. I feel like it's just a go back and listen to it if you want to know why I wasn't in the beef type shit compared to I might have just blast this every time. But I enjoyed it. I, I really did enjoy this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I hope you enjoyed the feedback that I provided, my thoughts on the song itself. I really like it. I really like this song. But for a playlist, I don't think it's something I'd add, but I really enjoyed it. If y'all enjoyed this video, then hey, it would be nice if y'all can leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe and help a nigga out. I'm almost at a thousand subs. We only need less than 120 or something like that. I can't count, but you can count for me when you subscribe. I'd be much obliged. I appreciate that. But you guys have a great rest of y'all's night. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next future video, which I hope is tomorrow by the time of this recording. If not, then I'll see y'all when the next video drops. Love y'all. Stay tuned. Peace out.